All right, it's Jay-Z here. We're going to go ahead and get started with uh, coaching session number three, uh, team three versus team four. I'm not sure what team I'm going to be looking at here, <clears throat> but I'm going to go with the red team first. Uh, I think they're team three, but we'll see what happens here. So we got uh, Braska, Sonny, and uh, Jack. Joke? I'm going to go with Jack. Um, so, like the other videos... I'm going to go ahead and stick in uh, this view here. Uh, this allows me to see the whole field and see what everything's going on. That way I can grade you kind of as a whole based on your strategy and positioning, which in my opinion are the most important parts of this game. Um, the mechanic stuff, um, that stuff you can practice and you'll get better at slowly because that is a little bit more tough to learn, but by making changes to the way you play um, and position yourself, you can see immediate uh, results. So that I think is the best thing. I will point out mechanical things that I see throughout the, the video here, but um, we're just going to mainly focus on position and strategy. Um, and then at the end of the video, I'll try and break down um, things I saw for each person and then uh, maybe give you guys some tips on uh, different trainings I, uh, I think are beneficial. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started here. So at the first break, so it got a little bit of lag there behind a minute from me. But uh, so Nebraska. So let's see where our positioning is. So Jack went and made a hit there. And we have somebody waiting in middle, which is good. So you can cover most of the field. And then uh, somebody looks like they just grabbed boost. And they are uh, back at net. So right here, uh, you did have two people go for the ball. But... Uh, Braska, or maybe the, I don't know, whoever's behind Sunny there, uh, they get a job on peeling off so that way you don't have two people in the same spot. So, right here, uh, it's good on uh, who's coming across. That was a good hit and a good clear. That's a good job on Sunny going back. Um, Sunny, I maybe would have gone to the other side of the net just because uh, you probably would you should have noticed your teammate uh, moving. Um, and really, whoever is closest on that, like if they're closer to that pipe, um, on like so, for instance, the left pipe, the, they'll have priority um, in going, because you always have to have someone with a priority unless you call it over team speak or uh, vent or whatever you're talking. Um, we, like if you say I have speed, then you can go ahead and take it, and that person knows to stick around. But when you're not doing that and you're not communicating right, person closest to the ball should always have priority because otherwise you get in situations like this where both people are going. But you did good and you backed off. So, All right, that's a good cycle. Good, like, that's really good cycling right there. So, Sunny missed the ball. Good. Don't waste time and get back. Good. You're working your way toward the net. Good. So, um, whoever, let's see, I can't tell. Uh, looks like Jack right there when you hit that ball um, probably not worth it I probably would have let your teammates come out and hit the ball because then you get into this awkward situation where you're just dinking around from the net there and it ends up setting up a goal um, that's kinda where you get to the ball chasing and just like touching mentality where if you just let it go um, and just trust your teammates hit the ball they should be able to get a good strong hit um, just kind of tapping the ball around really just sets up the offense. I just want to preface this video. I haven't uh, watched the whole thing uh, besides when we did it live. So I'm not entirely sure uh, what's going to happen or what to expect here. So uh, if I pause and say I like something and it doesn't happen, um, we're just going to let it go. So uh, Sunny, you should be moving up maybe toward midfield and kind of hanging out by that center boost. Uh, waiting. Brass gets a good job on coming across, but uh, Jock made a good shot and scored there. So, all pretty relevant, but uh, getting that positioning and getting in position in case they do make a defense is important. So, right here, I was good. Um, sitting there waiting for that hit. Um, Sonny, you may be overcommitted there, but uh, you are able to correct it and get back, so that's good. So, it was a good contest there by Jock getting in there and making that save. Um, Icy Cocaine made a good pass there. Alright, so a little indecision. Um, that'll happen when you guys are parallel. Uh, if you guys can help that, maybe don't be parallel and uh, just someone needs to back up by the post. So we had two people go here. I'm going to go ahead and get back so you can see what set this up. So Ulster misses his shot. Um, 
that's a tough one because uh, Sonny was not quite landed on his feet, and Sebraska was trying to make a play. Um, I kind of mentioned it um, in my other video, in the second video, uh, misses. Uh, if you're going to make a shot like that because you're not sure if your teammate can land on his feet right and continue the play, like uh, Sonny was struggling to do there, um, Braska, if you're going to go and commit to make that hit, you got to make that hit um, and put that in the corner or put that in a place where uh, the other team can't make an advantageous hit and break you guys. Because right now you're out of position and you kind of left Jack out to hang. Um, luckily, blue team is completely out of position and um, you should be able to do something with this ball. Um, but we'll see what happens here. So the ball just kind of ends up in the corner, and then nobody really goes for it for a little bit. So Jock is there now. Made a good contest. Um, Sonny, I maybe would have just gotten out of the way. Um, let your teammates go. You just got to trust him there. Uh, Jock is a good hit to hold the zone. So that was a good pass back. And then uh, Brassett comes in for the hit. Just overshot it a little bit. Um, all right. So Brassett... That's that's a tough one right there. I want to just go back and look at that. So that was a good hit, and I I see you're going for the follow up, but uh, icy cocaine made the hit. Um, so I'm torn on how you should have handled that. Let's see here. Yeah, cause icy cocaine just made a nice hit. Um, rather than seeing where the ball went, just. I feel like something needs to be changed here because it is just so awkward uh, right here what happened. Um, and they're all, all the blue team is all right there and you should be able to take advantage of that. Um, so I think seeing like from where you're at now you should see that Sunny's right there and you should see where the ball is. And rather than turn toward the ball uh, and getting potentially in his way which it seems that happened, I maybe would have gotten left and grabbed that side boost and then uh, cycled back into defense and then let uh, Jock get in position behind Sunny. And same thing there, Sonny. Um, you're probably just a little bit in the way. Um, it's just kind of a positioning and cycling thing, which this is your first time playing with these guys, so that'll happen. But, I mean, that's the same thing you're going to find in solo queue. So you just got to be aware of that. Uh, that was a nice hit by Blue. It just went over. Um, so that was a good job on uh, the two guys that stayed down um, and not and realizing that their teammate was flying for the ball and not committing too heavily for it. So that's good. Um, good contest there, Sonny. This looks like a real unfortunate break and shot. Um, let's see here. Where was uh, your defender on this? So we have the hit, and then Sonny goes out for the break. And it looks like Braska just, uh, unfortunately, was a little out of position. But that was a really nice shot. So um, a little bit tough because, I mean, you had two good hits on your team, so you're trying to move forward. But you just got to be careful <clears throat> and, uh, on those kind of situations. So... You have to pinch that. That maybe took a little bit longer and uh, a better, not a better team, but uh, some better players may have taken advantage of that delay. So we got a nice hit here coming in. That was a good hit. It was a good contest there by Jock. Uh, Sonny, you're in good position. Braska, you're sitting pretty good. You went maybe a little bit too far back. Um, you don't need to go that far back. You can hover on mid. But uh, good hit. Just kind of a miss there. And that's another thing. Uh, another instance of what I was talking about where if you're going to come up and take a shot like that where your teammates up there and put two people near the same spot, you really need to make sure you get that hit. So that was a good clear. Um, that was a good, nice job by, a nice hit by Jack. Oh, that was a good save though. Um, that was a good job, Braska, peeling off and uh, letting Jock take that hit and uh, getting back in the cycle. So a little bit over. That was a nice save there by Sonny. So you got two people running into each other, but that's all right. Um, so we have two people in the same place right there. You guys are just racing each other for the ball. Somebody needs to just be the bigger man and uh, let up and get into a position for a pass. That was a good contest there by Jack. So the ball's up. Um, in Nebraska, I mean, I'm not 100% on your uh, skill level and your your comfortableness with uh, taking aerials, and that may have been it, the case right there. But that would have been something you'd want to contest. Uh, it's a nice hit there, Sonny. Um, I just want to go back to that one. So you got a nice hit here. Um, 
I think if I were a jock and I saw that hit coming from you, because he, he makes this pass here, and it goes out, and he see he should see you, because if he has ball cam on, he should see this hit coming, and yep, he turned, but then he cycled out a little bit too far back. I maybe would have kept going, and uh, I can't see my mouse, but maybe move, um, I would have turned left here. And gotten between um, the boost that's just behind Sunny and the boost that's just in front of Jack, but uh, that way you can make a good, uh, a quicker hit on that. Okay, so that's just an unfortunate miss there by Sunny. Um, so it was a good clear. That was a good strong hit. So it was good to see. Um, you did kind of come down on in front of Sunny, but that's unfortunate. That's just off the wall kind of a thing. Um, all right, that's not too bad. That was good because you were the last one back, so it's good you're playing conservative. Um, so there's nobody up here to assist Sunny. Uh, if he makes a hard pass, uh, there's that ball will definitely uh, go across the net. But he ends up missing here, and Jack, you ended up being in the right position. Um, fortunately, Sunny had missed. But, uh, <clears throat> so let's go back to this. So I'm going to watch where Braska is on this position for this hit. So Braska, you're doing the right thing going that way. And there's a little bit of a delayed reaction to get back. So we got that, and then there's the hit. And then it's probably about a second or two before you turn around. But uh, you d I think you did the right thing there, going back to the net and not trying to make a play on the ball, just because you were the last one back. So sitting in net, just trying to set yourself up to make a save, I think was the right choice there. And then that was a good break. All three of you went, though. That was a good job peeling to get back. Um, a nice little touch there. So that's a good cross, or a, or a good save, and a uh, way to hold your position. I probably, uh, Braska right there. Um, you're actually going to want to keep going with that ball. Um, you had beat, you were in front of all of your teammates, and when you stopped, you just kind of set up blue team to do whatever they want with the ball. Luckily, they hit it kind of directly at, I think that's Sunny there at the ball now, um, so it wasn't too big of a deal, but um, some better players will take advantage and uh, dribble that or pass that back um, towards center for uh, Ulster, who looks like he's in actually pretty decent position for a hard pass toward middle. Um, so, little thing to note. It's just it's a lot of little things here that I'm noticing, but um, nothing too glaringly obvious. But uh, all in all, not a bad game. That was pretty good. Um, the thing that beat you was probably your positioning a little bit. Um, you guys had some times where you weren't uh, contesting enough. Sorry, not contesting enough. That's um, not correct. Where you had one person down on field and. He, you didn't really have a whole lot of passes go across the net, so that makes it tough. But if you were to have passes, you didn't have somebody to make that strike. Uh, you guys were stuck in your defensive zone for quite a bit, so that's a little unfortunate. And then when you were in your defensive zone, sometimes you sent two people, and sometimes uh, you just didn't get good hits, or you crossed it back in front of the net for them, and that resulted in a goal. Because um, I, can, I can remember specifically the one instance where that came across, and I think the other time they just had a good shot on you. So uh, that one instance of the bad hit um, bouncing out in front of the net, it, if you wouldn't have had that and made a good strong clear, you guys would have been tied and probably going to OT, or the results may have been different. Maybe you would have won. So um, those are the things that I've noticed. Um, I did see some good hits, at least, uh, some strong hits. Um, some missed aerials and missed opportunities, and then um, going in for the for a strike and cutting in front of your teammate to make a hit when they're not quite on their on the wheels. Um, that's a, that's not a bad thing to do. You just have to make sure you get that hit. Um, some things mechanically I would work on to get that. Um, work on if you're gonna make if you're gonna uh, pass your teammate and kind of cut through this uh, jump in front of them in the cycle. Make sure that you get the hit, and the way best way to do that is to maybe not even go for a placement shot or even a shot on net, just hitting the ball um, toward like the goal, the opponent's goal uh, in general. So even just like the back wall, the corners would be beneficial in that situation. Um, so really, just hitting the ball forward. Uh, what you'd want to do is you just want to flip into the ball. So making sure that you can get good strong uh, hits 
and Kachunk flips. Um, so that way, when you flip, you want to make sure that you're hitting in that situation. You want to time your flips so that way your uh, back is completely um, vertical. That way you're the widest target you can be. Um, so if they try to flip or take a shot over you, you're going to be right there. Uh, when contesting, you want to be uh, the person who's higher almost always wins. So um, time your jump or your aerial uh, and then your flip so that way you're, you're going to be higher than they are. That way, if anything, you just hit it down and it dribbles. So um, best way to practice that is I've mentioned in my other videos, but I really like the all-star goalie training. Um, you can get good at timing your flips on balls that are coming at you fast, so it's kind of a reaction, like a bang-bang um, jump flip, um, which is good for weird situations like that. Um, I think that's also good for working your aerials. Um, Braska, I noticed that I didn't see a whole lot of aerials from you, so I don't know if you're not completely comfortable with them, or if you just didn't quite have the opportunities this game, I'm not entirely sure. But um, I think working on uh, those and the goalie training are really beneficial because they're small ones, but they're also really fast. So um, it becomes a lot of muscle memory just to get those really quick, and just to make sure you're even hitting it. But once you get good at it, then you can start inter um, adding in some flips. So a, like a jump, aerial, and then a flip uh, within that one, I think it's 1.5 or 2 seconds. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but you'll get the timing down, and you'll get good at hitting, getting that hit. Um, and then once you do that, then you can go ahead and go to the aerial training. Um, I recommend starting at pro just to get hitting the ball. And then um, once you move up to all-star, that's really good for adjusting your flight in air. Because um, a lot of those come at weird angles and stuff like that. So uh, it's really good for um, practicing that like even aiming missing on purpose and then trying to correct and just hit it in the general direction of the net or at a specific spot on the field um, rather than even trying to score so um, those are some things I like to do um, all in all not too bad I'd recommend watching the second video um, as well because I do go over some other stuff um, I don't want to get into this because otherwise it all becomes the same thing over and over again um, but I do go over getting uh, working on some stronger hits and then some other um, misdirection passes and stuff like that so um, all in all it was, a, it was a good game but there's definitely some stuff to work on um, so yeah keep at it